What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And guys, before I start the video, as usual, drop 10K in the comments, like the video, and sub if you are new for a chance at winning 10K. It's that simple. Just drop anything in the comments, whatever, all that good stuff. Support your boy. He's been posting mads. Look at the squad. And guys, this video is going to be aftermath of the market crash, baby. We're going to go over all the players I picked up, all the stuff I did to make those stubs, baby. So let's get into it. Stubs are high, as usual. So let's get into it. Okay. So let's go through my completed orders. As you can see, I bought... Okay, so let's start it off with this. I pulled Tim Anderson out of one pack. If you don't believe me, I'll go over to it. I pulled Tim Anderson out of one pack. I pulled out my guys for the stream. One pack. Let's go, Tim Anderson. So we pulled Tim Anderson. So, ready? We pulled Tim Anderson. He was 30K when I pulled him. I'm like, wait, these packs expire. I'm waiting. The packs expired. Look at his price right now. It's unbelievable. I literally should have known because I could have made a million stubs if I just bought all the players when they were at 30K. He's at 60K. I sold him for 69K on a quick sell. So that's how I started off my day on Friday. I made 40K right off the bat, off a pack. But let's get into the actual ways I made stubs. So let's go my let's go okay first of all let's just start it off with the diamond the only diamond i bought during the crash and it was javier Baez because he was the only diamond that dropped out of the whole crash no one else dropped all the gold silvers bronze and commas they dropped the biases the diamonds they didn't drop the diamonds went up so remember that for next player of the month that the diamonds go up when they drop the golds bronze silvers they drop so Baez, i got him for 31k if you don't believe me Let's see 32k okay he's 41k he's playing like an mvp so now what i recommend is when his value drops when he's inside just down i would pick him up because he's playing like mvp he's gonna go up in overall you have to remember that he's only 85 he's gonna go up in overall he's playing like mvp all right so that's how i started off the diamond so let's go over to the golds okay so what i did was i saw okuna at what 6k let's see how much i got him for I got Chapman's for 4K all around. I got a bunch of Brad Hands. This is what I did. So we got Chapman. I, I, I We got Chapman, Okuna. Where's Okuna? I can't see. Okuna, 6K, 6K, 6K. We got a bunch of Okunas. We have four of them. For 6K, he's now 8K. So I said it on my stream. I said to pick him up when the market crashes. Already, he's not even diamond. I picked him up for investment-wise, and he's already that much so let's say all right i made 5k stubs already there i made 10k off the bias 40k off the anderson but that was a pack so let's say i made after reduction about 12k let's say 12k already okay so i made 12k i got a bunch of match admins this is more of an investment type of thing he was 5200 coins so okay off this market crash i'm probably gonna be like i'm gonna probably be making a minimum of 20k stubs not the most because the market didn't crash as much as i expected it to it was kind of just in a way to make investments. It was pretty much a best way to make investments. So I'm going to go over all the players I bought. Let's see. We got, let's keep going. We got a couple Simmons. He was a hundred, he was about a thousand, about what, 1300 stubs. I got a bunch of him. I have four of him already there. I'll make 500 stubs. That's already 15 K. Let's say 15 K. I think I bought some Carrasco, bought two of them. Trey Turner. Nah, I didn't buy any of him. Let's see. Where are the big boys? I bought some Sevs. I bought one Sev. I bought a Marcelo Zuna. I bought... I have a couple Corey Seagers, right? I have two, three. Okay. Where are the guys? Okay. I stocked up on Trevor Bowers. 3K. This is the time to stock up on Trevor Bowers. You know why? Because the guy's playing like a god. And let me show you the stats on Fantasy. Go over here. Trevor Bauer. And the guy's playing amazing. Trevor Bauer. Here he is. Okay. Ready? Do you want to hear his last stats? Ready? Seven innings pitch. One win. 8 innings pitch, 1 win. 6.1 innings pitch, only 2 earned, no win. 1 win. He has 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 wins and 1 loss. His ERA is a... His ERA is under a 1. It's under... It's a sub. It's 1.9. He's a 1.9 ERA. He's 3K. Whoever's watching this, go pick him up. You'll make stubs. Already I made stubs off him because he was like 2 freaking K. So that's also a good guy. Josh Johnson. 
I only picked up one. I wish I picked up more. He was quick sell value. He's now 2K. If I picked up 100 of them, sold them for 2100, I make 100K stubs. Like what? I should have just did that. I don't know why I didn't. Bradhand. Just get him. Just get him. I have four of him. I got him for quick sell value. I'll make 200 stubs off each already. So 200 stubs off each already. That's about it. Let's just say a K stub. Just say it's a K stubs. And then he's going to go up in overall because he's pitching amazing. He's a top closer. He's 10 for 10 in saves. I'm talking really fast, but like that ass. Let's keep going over what I got. I got a bunch of Kirby 8s. He's been playing amazing. I got him for quick sell value. He's going to rise. I'm making stubs regardless. We're already up at like 20K over. Over 20K stubs off the crash. This is just the best ways to make subs, bro. With Merrifield, got him for quick sell value. I have eight. So every Friday, guys, just buy golds that are doing good in real life. Like, just look up the stats. If you have a freaking iPhone, almost everyone has a smartphone. Go look up the stats on what he's doing. Safari, fantasy, whatever you do. Go look up the stats. If they're 1K quick sell value on Friday, buy them. You're making stubs regardless. They go up every single week. I do it every single week. Okay, so let's keep going. Another way I made stubs on Friday was I picked up a, uh, a, a German or a German German. I don't know how to say his name. I picked up him. I picked up Hunter Dozier. Let's go over here. And I picked up a Corey Polanco. So the Dozier is 5K right here. I got him for about three and I sold him for 54. I sold a bunch of players like that. I sold probably about five of them and I made about 1K to 2K to 3K stubs off all of them. So when the player of the month dropped, you pick them up while they're cheap, while the packs were out. Packs were gone, they went up to like 8K, 7K. So they went up a lot. Let's see what other goals I picked up. Uh, okay, I have a Hoskins. I don't think I have a Hoskins. Uh, all right, so we're getting to the silvers. So let's see, let's see what I picked up. Let's see my completed auctions. So we bought a bunch of Martin Perez's. That's for another video. Okay, we, we made money off the Kayla Smith. I got Kayla Smith for 2,600 freaking coins, dude. Oh, let's move the face cam for a sec. You barely can see me, but... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Okuna, 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 Vareo. Okay, I picked up a bunch of Vareos's. Vareos, Vareos, whatever. I picked up a bunch of players. So, hold up. Let me move my face cam back. I'm sorry, guys, for that technical difficulty, but let's keep going. Um, we got we got Whit Merrifield. Got a bunch of Whit Merrifields, Acunas, Baez. I wish I could see. I'm ugh, this is annoying. Okuna. Oh my God. Let me move this face cam down. What is going on? All right, so we can pick up a bunch of Danny Santana's at 15 stubs, 14k, 39k. No. Okay. So, oh yeah, I also got a bunch of Trevor stories. He's already at. Let's see, I got him for 2800. I'm probably not gonna make that many stubs off him, but let's see, Trevor story, 3700. So, okay, so you'll make 700 stubs off each. I got six of them. 700 stubs times six, seven times six. Uh. Oh, 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 42. <laughs> 400. Four. All right. Forget the math. Forget the math. I'm retarded. Okay. Oh, my God. I haven't been in school. <laughs> Bro. All right. So, um, yeah. So, I got a bunch of Trevor stories. I made a lot of stubs. About 4,200 stubs off the Trevor stories. So that's good. Got Trevor Story, 2,800 stubs. He's now 3,300. So guys, I'm well over 3,800 stubs easily. Way over, way over 30k stubs made. And guys, it's mostly investments. So you can make stubs, you can sell them. But honestly, I like to invest. I have stubs. I have stubs to invest in. I really believe that on Friday is the best time to make stubs and make investments. So. Keep that in mind. Friday is a very interesting day. You should all pay attention to Friday. It's where I make all my stubs. And also, I picked up a bunch. I think I picked up a bunch. I'm not. Oh, okay. Hold up. Let me show you this one. I picked up a bunch of Hunter Dozier's when he was freaking 60 stubs. He Okay, so he was 200 stubs on Friday. Then the market crashed at 3 o'clock Friday. He dropped to 100 stubs. 
and his, his sell now, his buy now price was 60 stubs. I picked up more. I have 33 Hunter friggin' Dozers. He's still doing amazing. He had another home run today. He had a home run the day before. He's playing unbelievable. Just, if you have the stubs, if you have, if he goes to 90 or 80 quick sell, go get him. He's going to be a silver in no time. He might even be an all-star the way he's playing. So, that's awesome. So, guys, that's all I got for you today. And, guys, because I say it a lot. And, guys, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop the sub if you're new. Like the video. And, guys, if you haven't seen guys again, guys, um, uh, if you haven't seen my uh, next video, if you haven't seen my last video, whatever, check the intro out. It's a cool intro. I mean, outro, my bad. Check the outro out. Pick it up, beat. It's awesome. You're about to see it. Hey, yo,